because I dropped mine down the toilet. <laughs> Could I get the thing out? Could I? Oh, my tea. Now we may begin. Hey everyone, me again. Welcome back to Rex and Media Rex. And if you are new, hello to you too. My name is Amelia and we film all kinds of videos on this channel really. Everything from beauty to fashion to travel. And we throw some lifestyle vlogs in there as well. So if you like my face, if you enjoy this video, click the subscribe button and stick around for a while. Went all cockney then. Stick around for a while. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be talking you through my very first experience using a menstrual cup. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. I know a lot of people are really, really scared of these uh, and they have so many questions. So I thought I would just make a couple of videos actually, just talking through all of it. Because if you follow me on Instagram or you're subscribed to this channel already, you will know that this year I made the decision to come off my contraceptive pill, not to have babies, uh, but just to, I don't know, find my flow again, because I haven't had a period for the last 10 years. Um, and I just kind of had a pull towards being natural again, I guess. Um, and to be perfectly honest, it's been an incredibly empowering journey for me so far. Um, I'm gonna be doing a whole video on that, talking about it all because I don't know, I've had, again, a lot of questions asking about it and it seems like I'm not the only person who's decided to do that after a long period of time. So um, yeah, if you're interested in that, click subscribe, more videos coming your way. Um, but I decided if I was gonna come off my pill and start having periods again, that I wanted to do eco-friendly because there are so many new products out there these days that weren't there before, like menstrual cups, like period pants. So I thought, right, we're gonna do this and I'm gonna be menstrual product guinea pig <laughs> and try them all out and talk about it online because I don't think there are enough people talking about these things and my experience personally over the last two months openly chatting about it, answering people's questions, uh, has been that people want to hear it. People want to open up these conversations, they feel embarrassed at the moment to do so um, and it's just nice to give people a forum, a place where they can ask any questions they want to, no question is a silly question um, and just sort of learn a little bit more because me personally, I have learned so much more about my body and about me in the last two months than I had in the last 32 years. And it's definitely partly down to reading this book called Period Power by Maisie Hill. Highly recommend it if you are thinking about coming off the pill, if you want to learn a little bit more about your cycle, if you are having issues with your cycle or you want to just learn a little bit more about you. Highly recommend this one. I will leave a link down below. Um, it's been incredibly empowering reading that book. And I don't know, I just think as menstruators, we are incredibly powerful human beings and it should be celebrated instead of stigmatized, you know? But to be honest, that could be its own video. So we'll stick to menstrual cups right now. So uh, for those of you who don't know, a menstrual cup kind of looks like this. It goes inside your vagina, creates a vacuum seal and collects all of your menstrual blood inside the cup. You then take it out, tip it away, rinse it and pop it back in. This can be used for 10 years, right? Which is just insane because in America alone, there are 20 billion menstrual products that go into landfill every single year. Um, so if you can just buy one of these every 10 years, <laughs> then that saves a lot of tampons going into the ground. And also this is 100% medical grade silicone, uh, whereas there's a lot of nasties in your tampons and your pads. So uh, if, even if you're not thinking about using a menstrual cup or you can't bring yourself to try this yet, definitely take a look at what's inside your tampons um, and maybe switch to something organic because our vaginas are queens and they should be treated as such. Uh, you only wanna be shoving good quality stuff up there. So when I first decided that I was gonna give the menstrual cup a go, uh, I had a look online and I fell down a little rabbit hole, to be honest, of menstrual cups because there are so many different ones out there. I ended up buying from a company called Salt um, and I've also got one from Moon Cup because this is kind of like the original um, menstrual cup and I kind of wanted to see how they differ, as you can see. They're very, very different. Um, and they've, they've got pros and cons of each, but personally, I I get on best with the salt cup. And I just had a look around. There's lots of quizzes that you can take to find out which size you need, because if you didn't realize, period cups come in different sizes as well. So it often goes on whether you are 30 and over or whether you've had a birth, uh, whether you've like given birth vaginally, right? So it suggested to me that I get the small cup because I haven't given birth vaginally and I'm over 30. 
Um, but there's loads of different quizzes that you can do to figure it out. I also had to measure my cervix, which was an interesting day, let me tell you. Um, I'd never done that before, and to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a 32 year old woman who I like to consider fairly intelligent, <laughs> but even I had to Google the anatomy of my vagina and where everything was, just to kind of, and I'd highly recommend it, just to kind of give you a little bit of a visualization of what exactly your cervix will look like, where it is in relation to things. So it kind of like comes out the bottom of your womb into the vaginal canal like that. And obviously all the blood comes out of there. So the point of the menstrual cup is to sit there so your cervix bleeds into it, you know? If you've missed it and it's going down the side, that can be how it leaks and all that kind of stuff. So. I sat down and I looked at <laughs> the anatomy of my body and I measured my cervix because some people have a high cervix, some people have a low cervix. Your cervix can change throughout different days of the month as well. So that's something to be aware of. Um, and it just all kind of like helps you get an idea for the cup that might work for you. That being said though, doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get it right the first time. So if you do all that and you buy one and it just isn't working for you, it could be that you just need a different shape cup or a different size cup. So please don't just automatically think, oh, it's not working for me and then give up, right? So I went for the salt cup. I really like the packaging. I like the fact that they donate um, some of their profits to help with period poverty. They just seem like an all round good egg company. Um, and it arrived and I thought, brilliant. This is my period cup, I'm ready to go. Uh, and I actually practiced with it before my period came along, which I would highly recommend you doing. Um, just because you kind of need to have a practice taking it out mostly. Putting in is pretty easy, but taking it out, you need to have a practice with it. And it's just easier to do that if you haven't got the panic of being on your period, right? And also I think, I don't know about you, but when you're on your period, you don't wanna be messing around up there too much. You wanna know what you're doing when it gets to that time. So I got in the shower and I had a play around with it, popped it in and tried to take it out. The first time I tried to get this period cup out was panic central because I popped it in absolutely fine, did a little dance around the bathroom because I was like, oh my God, I can't even feel it, it's brilliant. I'm converted, could I get the thing out? Could I? It took me several attempts to be, even be able to grip it and pull it out and when I finally got it out, I was traumatized, right? Um, but I didn't let that stop me <laughs> and I gave it a second go. And to be honest, ever since then, it's been absolutely fine. It's just, it just takes a little bit of practice. It won't get stuck. Even though you feel like it's disappeared into your body forever, um, your vaginal canal isn't that big. So don't worry about it, it will come out. It just, just takes a little bit of practice. So along came my period and I thought, right, I am ready to use this cup. I popped it in in the morning, absolutely fine, no problems, did it in the shower. And six hours went by and I thought, this is really odd that I don't need to change this for 12 hours. Like it's got to be overflowing by now. I'm gonna take it out and have a look. Took it out, it was only about a quarter full, which absolutely amazed me. I think we definitely overestimate how much we bleed generally speaking, um, throughout our cycle. I know that there's a lot of us out there who have really, really heavy flow periods, a lot of us super light, some, me, I think somewhere in the middle. Um, but yeah, I was amazed at how little there was. So I was like, ah, oh, okay, I really don't have to touch this all day. So I rinsed it out and I was about to insert it back in and I dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> I dropped my cup in the toilet and I was just, I couldn't believe it. I was <laughs> absolutely good. I was like, oh, I thought I was bossing this thing. No, dropped it in the toilet. And let me tell you, kiddies, I'm not the first person to ever do it. And I will not be the last. It happens. It's not a problem. Um, so I did a bit of Googling and stuff and yeah, washed it out, sterilized it, and then was able to reuse it again. Haven't dropped it in the toilet since. You'll be pleased to know. Um, but yeah, there you go. That was kind of like my first foire into the menstrual cup world little bit of a disaster but it didn't put me off i kept going with it and i'm so so glad that i did it's genuinely the most comfortable period product that i have used i'm also trialing out period pants as well which i'm going to be doing a big video on so again click subscribe if you want to see more of these videos they're going to be trickling through as i get around to filming them all um but yeah I, for me it was 
an interesting first experience, but I am now 100% converted. I absolutely love it. I've got my other cup in there right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just, it's brilliant. I, I barely feel it. And you kind of, you're just able to forget that you're wearing one because you can swim with it. You can go to the gym, you can sleep with it. And you only have to touch it like two times a day, depending on your flow. So I'm going to be doing a couple more videos on menstrual cup stuff the next one i'm going to be answering your questions so if you do have any questions at all about the menstrual cup i've already got like a big stack from over on instagram uh so i'm going to be answering those but if you've got any others leave me a comment down below or come and follow me on instagram send me a dm if you're a little bit embarrassed not a problem but i'm going to be talking you through easy insertion and easy removal and also my top tips for changing in public if you need to not that you probably will need to to be honest because like i say it can last for up to 12 hours um, but I'll give you my top tips for changing in public um, and then I think I'm going to do another video as well on how to clean, sterilise and store your cup because there are several different ways that I've tried, um, some easier than others and yeah, I'm, I'm just a total convert. So if you're interested in more menstrual cup content, click subscribe. If you want to see my period pants comparison review video, click subscribe and also my story about coming off Cerisette as well, click subscribe because we've got loads more stuff coming your way. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, it's nice and relaxed actually. It was a, a lovely little chilled out video with a cup of tea. If you enjoyed this, please do give it a giant thumbs up because uh, that really helps us YouTubers out. Leave me a comment down below if you want to ask any questions for the next video. And yeah, come and follow me on Instagram, join the chat. We talk about it super openly over there. Open body chats as well. Um, it's just a really, it's a safe place to be. So yeah, if you want to come on over and join us, please feel free. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.